when I got in the room with the crooked man, um, and he was pointing a gun at me, I didn't attack him, um, just based on instinct. I just didn't feel it. Um, he could have probably shot me, but he was talking and he sounded like he wanted to say something and I didn't think he would just straight up cap me right there so I just waited it out just to see what would happen but uh when he was saying I think I'll keep the gun thanks I was like no you're not <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're not keeping that gun if you're coming in with me I'm taking that from you but anyway okay. this is the finale episode fire we're gonna get everything answered all of our questions um and find out the fate of all the characters starting now I know, I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... Lawrence is still here. He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the crooked man's place. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes! What are you waiting you for, you for murderer? Yourself. My you wife killed Lily because my of my where the fuck do you get off? Faith? You think you have the right you to just do this to you people? Said. You're a fucking crook. Yes. You should fucking be ashamed. Shit. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder as of I Faith and- As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie. You'd better shut your fucking mouth if you want to keep it. Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yeah, sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? I killed him. He's dead. He's... what? <laughs> dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fabletown community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell you did Stop the charade. We know you're in- Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death, upon which your body will be committed to the witching Where ground. it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get on with it then. we promised you a chance to defend yourself. And I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? This is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. Lawrence's shirt. 
floor. Yeah, I saw that. Let them eat Thank game. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you going to get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with it. Tell this is such bullshit! He's always been a bit of a powder keg. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? You weren't being helpful. You were trying to set me up. Your people tried to kill me. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I've protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man, just to save someone. <sighs> What's uh. he talking about? Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. Use scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that, hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. You're not serious. I know what you do to people. I've seen it firsthand. What you did to Faith, the way you manipulated her. Do you really think any of those girls were free? Do you really think Faith I'm wanted sorry, to- I'm sorry, Lawrence. I'm sorry that your wife came to me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my best judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? You're the fucking problem here, not us. Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. Okay, I'm gonna pause it for a second. Um, at this point, it's turning into a mini game. I'm not sure if you've noticed or not. This um, is a little bit more risky of an option rather than just flat out killing him straight up. You bring him back, and the reason he wanted to be brought back was because he wanted to turn the town against you, which is what he's in the middle of doing. Um, he just walked over to Greenleaf, and if you burned her tree down, <laughs> this does not look good for you because it makes uh, the government look like a bunch of bullies basically but yeah. considering we reneged on that and we decided not to burn her tree down and let her have it we have another i guess arguing point or sort of um a show that we're not like trying to put the people down and we're trying to make compromises and help so it's a good point and it feels good when it gets to this point um uh, that you've done but, something that you know is going to help you out. Yeah. But all these people, like, what from what he's saying, um, you know, they came to him for help, and it was their choices. But, I mean, let's face it, most of those were bad decisions, granted, that they made. But he facilitated it in, in a bad way. Just because they made a bad decision, he turned that bad decision and made it worse. So he's still guilty. Yeah. It, I mean, it's taking advantage of people and being a lone shark, and that's what he's doing. Uh, but he's guilty of other other things. I mean, we, we've seen the, the chains in the alchemy shop. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure we haven't thrown our trump cards at him just yet, so let's just keep this going. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back, and in turn we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living. 
provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but Bigby refused. What? You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? I know. Snow made a mistake. I had very good reasons for asking you to do that. She was working with Crane and the Crooked Man. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being Look. too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the Sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. Things haven't been great for a while now, but we'll do better at protecting you from people like him. The Crooked Man's been exploiting you, exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help, and he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. He took Faith and Lily from us. And while we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. They're right. You're all still afraid of him, even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. What, bitch? Crossing the line. Yeah. Very good, very good. The sentiment is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. The Sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie murder. was working for you! Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's- History. Um, what are you talking about? You won't be able to talk your way out of this, crooked man. What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe... maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just... Of need... course it's right! This man tormented all of you, for profit! Georgie Let killed him. Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course. Where are you going with this? If I'm to blame for George's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? Snow had nothing to do with it. We all thought she was dead. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employee's behavior, but I must perish for this mine. This is completely different. I we all... did not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Everyone calm down. This isn't I the reason we're here. I mean, a certain right level here. of privilege should be afforded to me. This is how it's always been. This is what I'm talking about. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers? Judging you, treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? Who will be the- Bigby? Miss White! Oh? Excuse me, I... dear. 
I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath, little What's one? she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. She has something to say, and we're gonna listen. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. My dear, I don't Just know shut you... up! You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <laughs> But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think I Nerissa! Know your... My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Faith and Lily are dead because of you! The only two people who ever gave a damn about me! Checkmate! And now, I can finally say... You're an asshole. And I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid... At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty! Good enough for me? Me too. So, that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. No, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you. enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. There been I don't get So we get rid of him. To get him out of here. We can send him Everyone, away. listen up! Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, really. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's- It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Wow. Well, it's Noah. Just do what you think is right. So we get to play the judge, jury, and executioner. Yes, Do what um, you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. No. He has to die. We can lock him Just away. fucking get rid of him. Everyone, I'm not this way. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that decision got taken out of your hands. Nope. Nope. I hope you all. Remember this moment. Think of me when you try to sleep. You said you had a way to keep him from hurting people. Wait, you After can't be serious. what he's done, you're just gonna put him in prison? This isn't the way, Sheriff. You're doing the right thing. Yes, there's a way. All right, do it. Ah, oh, that's better. Yeah, it feels better. You ready for this? Yeah. 
All right, one day later. Not what I was expecting. Morning, crooked man. He's got a sharp tongue. I thought it would be better for everyone if he parted with it. Thanks, Greenleaf. Let's just call it even. Hey, Sheriff. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <sighs> I think I've lost count. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. No, it's tight. This fucking line. It's actually a completely different character we've never seen that we actually uh, missed seeing. Uh, Mr. Wolf, oh. Flycatcher left his keys. Is everything okay? You look. I'm. I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. You're late. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. Cheeky pig. <laughs> Gowan, Jesus. We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Ugh. Shit. Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her? Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. Don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Bigby! Where's your friend, Colin? 
Where's the fucking pig? I don't know. He, uh, must have run off. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullfrog. Saying goodbye? Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to... It's okay. I get it. Listen, oh. I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Narissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. So you think that makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her. You were trying to get my attention. So you... you started all this. I just... pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. It's going to be different now. I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her. Or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other, and look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just... different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, Maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. 
You listened when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town, finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Well, that tied up all the loose ends. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Did Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. I'll see you around, Wolf. Dum dum dum. Boo! I love that ending. Oh my god, it's so good. All right. Well, there's our final options. Uh, a lot of the players uh, killed Georgie. A lot of the people gave Crooked Man a trial. That's really nice, actually. Um, most people chose to imprison him. No, didn't choose to imprison him. Only 47%. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, well, when you consider it's three options, three different options, um, it's like about 50% chose to imprison him and then maybe throw him down a wishing well or wishing or well. kill him so or i guess him. it is kill him or imprison him so i guess we're in the minority on that yeah did you ex accept tj's gift for snow um you and 98 point tj's gift for snow and our last words to narissa were i hope i've done some good here and uh that's it oh wow and then uh, there's special stats. It actually shows you each character and uh, how they left off, basically. You smashed up to this place. <laughs> Deceased. Uh, made a deal with Jack. Sending him from dying. We did save Lawrence. That's one more not dead person I've got in this save file. <laughs> We did stand up for Toad. We did a lot of good things for Toad, but he he was just screwed. He really didn't have a chance in hell. Anyway, that's the whole game. Yay, we're done. Oh my god, Yay. I completed a playthrough for the first time in fucking two years. Oh really? We're lucky this one's short. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember the last time I completed a game. Well, uh, Minecraft uh, map you did. Oh, we no, no, no. That. It was Mass Effect. So like right before I, before I got here, I completed a game. So I guess that counts. Hmm. All right. Anyway, um, did you get that last bit with uh, Narissa? What that was uh, foreshadowing? Well, I was wondering if that meant that she was Faith. Yeah, that's 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 the connotation because we didn't see Narissa before we ran to Faith, and uh, we're not totally sure, you know, if that was Faith that was killed. So it's kind of like up in the air if Narissa was Faith or not. It's like. Eh. And uh, her fairy tale is about her uh, adopting a disguise and leaving town when no one noticed. So, um, and they have a lot of the same language, like they say similar phrases and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I liked that. I was like, oh my god, wow, that's so cool. <laughs> anyway, I do love the Telltale games. I'm glad that we did this one and i think we would uh talk about which one that we might do next and we think we might just wait for the minecraft one i think that's what we were talking about isn't it yeah if we play the minecraft one we'll both be playing it blind and that'll be really interesting and we might do it episode by episode as episodes come out we'll uh we'll do them right as they're happening and that'd be cool but anyway that's the whole game you have any concluding thoughts for us fire no, except uh, I really enjoyed it, and to everyone who did watch it, thank you for watching.
thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you go out and buy it yourself if you haven't already. How dare you? How dare you watch this whole thing and not have it yourself? Go, go buy it. Go break more things. Be a complete asshole and see what the difference is in the stories. Because I've only played one plot line and there are so many more. Um, also, apparently, by graphic novels. I forgot that this was a graphic novel series. <laughs> well, there we go. Anyway. All right, I'm good. See you all next time. Bye-bye. It was Buffkin. <laughs>